The investigation continues into the death of a Congress, a councilman rather, in Sayreville, New Jersey. That's right, 30, 30, 30 year old Eunice June 4 was shot dead in front of her home Wednesday night, but nearly 48 hours later, there's still no suspect in custody. Ashley Rodriguez live in Sayreville with more. Ashley, we're told more agencies are joining this investigation. Oh yeah, absolutely. At this point, the FBI is now involved. They're helping the Sayreville Police and Middlesex County try to figure out who wanted this woman dead. So just to recap what we do know, she was killed Wednesday night around 7.30. Eyewitnesses say June 4 was in her SUV coming home when a shooter on foot ambushed her, firing off more than 10 shots into her front windshield before escaping. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy said the murder of June 4 feels very specific, although it doesn't appear related to her role as an elected official. Now here at Borough Hall, flags are at half staff and there's purple and black bunting hanging in honor of her. She was only elected in 2021, but was of such sweet character, she made an impact on coworkers. Eunice was just a delight to be around. She was very gentle in her way. She was very collegial. She was very friendly. Uh, I don't know of a person uh, in, in this environment that thought uh, anything but great things about her. Uh, she, uh, for all intents and purposes, was, was a very spiritual person, um, and she took her f values and faith very seriously and tried to employ them in her everyday life. Our police are working around the clock, hand in glove with the Middlesex County Prosecutor's Office. I could tell you pound for pound there's not two better law enforcement agencies in the state of New Jersey. I am very convinced that they will get to the bottom of this and deliver justice for Eunice and for the cerebral community. We definitely are hopeful for that. And city workers say that they are working with her family. They hope to put on a public memorial for her sometime next week. She does leave behind a preteen daughter, and I'm told she has a husband who lives in Nigeria. Now, as for leads, authorities are being very tight-lipped, but we're hoping for some updates in the coming days. In Sayreville, New Jersey, Ashley Rodriguez, Fox 5 News.